Yeah, now this is, he's barely been there three years. Uh, Marfield's tasked with autonomous car, pouring, pouring profits in there. Uh, never promotional, uh, really linked to the U.S. largely. Uh, domestic has peaked. Did he take actions overseas the way that Mary Barra had? Well, the, you, know, they're, you could argue no. Mary Barra was much more aggressive in getting out of bad markets. Uh, Ford was late to China, but that was not his fault. Uh, he inherited a kind of so-so business in Latin America. He chose not to pull out. Uh, Mark Fields did, every, you know, he had a very good dividend, uh, and I feel like that he got the shaft. I mean, I think he was doing a, as good a job as possible. Autonomous vehicles cost a fortune. Uh, it's not like GM has outperformed, uh, uh, Fiat has too. Um, but I think that what happened is, is that Mark did not talk the stock up. I, I've had many, many talks with Mark, and I visited their autonomous uh, uh, plant out in uh, Silicon Valley, and I've had many talks with him, and he just said, look, you know, we're linked to U.S. auto, and U.S. auto is not going to be good, and there's not much we can do to break out of that cycle. And I think that just wasn't good enough for Ford. I think it's interesting they picked a guy from Steelcase. Steelcase, obviously, you know, uh, they did move a lot of manufacturing to Mexico from the U.S. That's something Mark feels kind of committed to staying in the U.S. with the president. Now maybe with a new CEO, they can move, <laughs> and, and they, maybe that's what's going to happen. I would say this. Uh, this was a firing because the stock wasn't up, and there are a lot of CEOs whose stocks aren't up. Uh, is this the shot across the bow first one? I don't know, but it's really a family company, and the family, I guess, turned on Mark, and he just didn't get enough time, I think, to really work some magic here.